following video is for academic and judicial review purposes only. It uses the copyrighted images of Sky Television and the words in blue of screenwriters Jez and Tom Butterworth. It does so following guidelines for fair dealing as highlighted in the UK Copyright Designs and Patent Act of 1988. The video serves to ask a simple question. Which nine episode, multi-season television drama treatment about the tribes of ancient Britain features the following. Tribus, written and academically submitted at Bath Spa University by myself, or Britannia, which went into production several months afterwards. For further details, please read the description below this video. Britannia premiered on Sky Atlantic in January 2018. It was a big budget co-production between Sky and Amazon Studios. But in which fictional drama do the following things happen? Theirs. Or mine. Starting with the cold opening, scenes before the main narrative, which features the scarred and dirty faces of several prisoners flickering in and out the flames? In which is there a threat, the consequences of which will be dire for them all, where one of the prisoners is forced to step forward, or else they'll be killed one by one? And then, when he leaves his temporary prison cell, there's a close-up of an elated Roman general, based in part on Aulus Plautius, who then questions the prisoner before setting off on a journey. Which opening introduces the lead adult male Celtic protagonist, an eccentric looking middle aged man with tattoos and wild hair, and uses a bird to symbolise sorrow at the hands of the Romans? He's a character who we'll find out is on a journey to the Emperor himself in Rome. After the titles, which use a pop folk song as the title track, in which does the first of several key narrative strands begin? Which one introduces the young hero, Cal or Kate, who's approximately 13 years old? One is from the Catavallauni tribe, one is from the Canti, thought to be one and the same during Britannia's timeline. In which is the young hero shown alone, looking out for something, before running off through fields towards their father and other family members? In which is a village introduced, using subtitles where large water barrels are described? and in which is an eve of an important Celtic festival, where men and women, old and young, greet people arriving at the festival grounds. With the young hero due to go through a rite of passage that night, which represents their transition into adulthood, in which is there an issue about their attendance at the festival, that they then get support for from an elder female relative, Ella or Isleen who discusses someone's first time at the festival. Later on, on the night of the festival, in which is it established that the priesthood are policing proceedings, and, with the atmosphere gathering pace, and musicians playing for the people, greeting them as they make their way into the festival, in which is there a group of teenagers stood around a barrel. It's where the young hero will go through their rite of passage, and their head is pointed down to the only barrel standing. In which does the young hero take the tiniest of sips from the barrel or have their face submerged in it momentarily? And in which rite of passage do they get intoxicated for the first time, then walk around the festival site off their heads with the other teens? At which is there a drummer playing a manic rhythm and has two scantily dressed women dancing seductively? Where a bonfire gets lit someone steps on the coals, and another plays with or breathes fire. And, when they're walking around the festival site and everything is going well, in which does the young hero encounter a mysterious looking character, one who stops dead in their tracks, looks up at them and drops their staff to the ground? In which does the young character have an issue with their name, a theme throughout the series, introduced at the festival in the first episode? It's one where an unwanted guest or guests arrive, who an elder sibling has to deal with, and sees the night turn sour for the young hero, who doesn't make it back to their tent. 
in which does a troubled friendship start at the festival? The young hero banishes the new friend, using despicable language. The outcast character, one involved in stealing food, then heads off into the woods, and the young hero goes in deeper and deeper after him. Because of this, Cal or Kate's well-being is threatened in the forest by an unsavoury man interested in taking their virginity. But the new friend surprisingly comes to their rescue, and they head off together in the forest safe and sound. By the end of the first episode, one of the pair sees members of their family slaughtered in front of the other. And in which show does the young hero become the subject of a prophecy? They'll be the chosen one, or the next great king. Moving on to the next key narrative strand. In which show, Tribus or Britannia, is there a scene which takes place in a very specific place, the borders of certain tribal lands in the south of England? It's one that's set in a tree circle, with a small gathering of people in a semicircle stood inside a closed ring of ancient oaks, where some guests are dressed in a kingly fashion, others more humbly. A cousin of a tribal leader is about to get married, the alluring bride wears traditional Celtic bridal wear, and her groom looks on nervously. With the priestess leading the ceremony from the front, the groom faces his bride and the pair's hands are joined, and with the bride's eyes shimmering up to him almost playfully, even the priestess can't help but to stare and smile. But someone's lurking in the forest, suddenly yelling, voices and the wild neighing of horses interrupts the proceedings as a large group of riders emerge from the forest and encircle the guests. In which is an infamous Gaelic character, totally fictitious, first introduced at this very exact moment, the one who then slays the priestess without blinking. It's the wedding where the groom gets killed, his party fight back but are outnumbered and overrun and where the bride escapes, unscathed at first, but she'll be captured by the Gaul, held as a temporary prisoner, and involved in a political plotline. Of vital importance to this key narrative strand is the fact that the protagonistic tribe have had issues with the Regini or Regni tribe prior to the wedding. The plan for peace between them goes wrong. The wedding ambush, blamed on the Regini tribe, acts as the catalyst for the intertribal conflict to resume. And in which show does this lead to the massacre of the Regini tribe and key members of their royal family, but where one, who witnesses the slaughter, survives and is kept alive? Imprisoned, their look is one of hatred and rage. Picking up on the third key narrative strand in which tells the tale of a journey that starts with a prisoner in heavy chains being marched towards a Roman prison wagon. Inside the wagon, chained up, his taut body naked down to his trousers, he's shown to have bruises, scars and Celtic tattoos. It's a prisoner that speaks out about his missing family. The prison wagon rolls off at a slow pace. Then it's revealed from above, it's flanked by a large number of Roman foot soldiers. Which first episode features short scenes of the heavily guarded prison wagon on the move, which intercut the main narrative? It's led by the Roman, based on the Plautius character. He's got a subordinate called Vespian or Vespasian, who is portrayed barking out an order to his men before being shown riding off up front on his horse. Which one sees the prisoner end up getting interrogated on the journey? Alongside the key narrative strands, within which show the following beats and scenes take place. After an antagonist is introduced, called Verica or Verin, in which is there a threat in front of him involving the removal of both of someone's eyes? in which does a character, head still ringing, wake up as he's being dragged through the woods. It's one who's been gagged and bound in rope before he's threatened with a sexual assault. 
Fearing the worst, and with the assailant's hand moving down towards his trousers, there's a thud, and the pervert falls down next to the victim, who makes his escape through the woods. In which is there a meeting of the druids? It's one where they're specifically described drinking herbal tea. A character overhears the druids talking. The theme of the conversation is the politics and power of religion. And in which is there a scene where two wenches outside the entrance to a marquee try to lure a man outside with the promise of sexual favours. They've been unsuccessful in previous attempts. In which is there an important supporting character called Lucius? another called Brutus, and one called Anna or Anwin, and in which is a character called Brenner introduced, who is a danger to the hero and poses a threat to children. And finally, in which do the following story strands appear throughout the course of the treatment, or as seen in season 1? Which tells the story of the ailing king of the protagonistic tribe, who the druids have a growing influence over as he nears his death, and which shows the internal power struggle among his family and heirs, with his eldest, progressive-thinking son, overlooked for the crown, seen fleeing from the capital of the Canty lands, which features the intertribal war involving the southern tribes, with a double-crossing gall at its heart, and which has a member of the Cassi or Canty, called Ami or Amina, enter into a pact with the Romans, which tells the story of Cara, or Kera, the youngest child of the king, who surprisingly goes on to lead the tribe in a rebellion against the Romans, and their leader Plautius. They will end up getting captured, and handed over to the Roman general. Their identity can be confirmed by a unique tattoo. In which show do all these things take place, or are described in great detail, all the while whilst being underpinned by a core theme, the clash of civilizations. So in which show do they all happen? The answer? In both. At least the things that I've verbally described, which as you can see, all take place in an identical, or at least a highly similar fashion, in Britannia. <laughs>